What's up guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about this story, news story, um, about President-elect Joe Biden selecting transgender doctor Rachel Levine as assistant health secretary. Now, Rachel Levine is transgender, is I guess a man, or sorry, was born as a biological male and then now identifies as a female. I don't know all the terminology, so I apologize if I've just like committed a fucking felony. But um, that is, I think, an accurate description. So uh, basically the story, what it says by the lovely unbiased Washington Post, uh, that this individual, Rachel Levine, that president-elect Joe Biden has picked, uh, this person is now going to be the Assistant Secretary of Health. Now, I wasn't sure what the Assistant Secretary of Health does, and I just looked it up. Apparently, it's Wikipedia's birthday. Uh, the Assistant Secretary for Health serves as the U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services primary advisor on matters involving the nation's public health, and if serving as an active duty officer in the regular corps, is the highest ranking uniformed officer in the US public, I don't know, some bureaucracy stuff. So United States Secretary of Health and Human Services. Okay, so this is basically like the assistant to the top guy. So this person, this is like the vice president, as far as I understand, of the actual US Secretary of Health. Now, that in and of itself does not necessarily mean anything. Like, I don't think this person is going to be individually deciding on policy, although I wouldn't be surprised. It seems to me that this is just a political move to like show like, hey guys, like look, look who I appointed to the, to this, you know, not, I don't want to say useless office, to this uh, ceremonial office, a transgender woman. Look, everybody take a look. Wow, amazing. Um, you know, aren't I like a very cool and tolerant person? That's clearly what this seems to be to me um, and they think that it will be a good news story and it will score him points for being tolerant I guess but anyway the reason I'm even making a video about this is because this person it's implied at least as far as what I understood it's implied that this person is going to be making policy decisions based on the coronavirus pandemic which is totally real and not exaggerated at all uh, and the quote here says, Dr. Rachel Levine will bring the steady leadership and essential expertise we need to get people through this pandemic, no matter their zip code, race, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability, and meet the public health needs of our country in this critical moment and beyond, Biden said in a statement. She is a historic and deeply qualified choice to lead our administration's health efforts. Uh, now, like, I mean... This is who they're talking about, right? Now, you know, the transgender thing, I to me that doesn't matter, right? Like you want to be you want to live your life as a woman and you were born a man, okay? That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. Like go ahead, do your thing. Get get your surgery, take your hormones, wear women's clothes, wear a wig, grow your hair. Like I really don't care. Put makeup on, fine. Go ahead. More power to you, my blessing. Um, but if you are going to be in a role that you are going to be influencing health, like public health, I would think you should be a healthy person, right? Like this individual, man or woman, this does not look like a healthy person. Like this person's really fat, like really fat. You know what I mean? Like does not know anything. I don't want to say they don't know anything about health. It's possible they're very educated about health, but they do not uh, they do not practice what they preach, I guess. Like how can you how can you give advice regarding policy on health when you're I don't know 60, 70 pounds overweight like on a good day? Um, you know, transgender, like, I don't care about that. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, you want to live that way? Okay, go ahead. Like, you know, it's America. Do whatever you want. Um, in Thailand, for example, you know, I lived there for two years on and off. They have the lady boys over there, which are basically trans, trans women. Um, and they're totally accepted in society. And it's 
completely fine. And I'm, I'm sure there's even some in political office and nobody bats an eye. It's just, it's just normal over there. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But if you have a really fat person, which uh, Rachel is really, oh, she's obese. This is, this is an obese person right here. Um, if you have an obese person as like a public health administrator, don't you, don't you think that's a little like, it's a little weird, don't you think? I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of weird. Anyway, that's why I wanted to make this video because um, I'm just like scratching my head trying to think like, why, why would you make this person in charge? And like, you know, to be fair, can you be really obese and still know a lot about health? Yeah, you can. Um, but it doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. It, it seems honestly, it seems like what happened is they picked this person to be in charge because when you're transgender, you're kind of like, you're kind of like immune from public criticism, right? Because anything that anybody says about you that's not positive, it's like, oh my God, you're transphobic, right? It's like, it's like the new, uh, you know, the, the, I mean, I'm Jewish. I hate to say this. It's like the new being Jewish, right? It's like, oh my God, you said something bad about a Jewish person, anti-Semite, done. You're anti-Semitic, opinion, discarded, like, goodbye. Um, this is like, you know, being Jewish, like on steroids kind of thing. And um, I don't, I mean, look, to, to be honest, uh, does, it, does it really matter at the end of the day? Because as deadly as this pandemic is, um, I believe that the human race and the United States will prevail just as a result of our natural evolutionary biology to overcome deadly diseases and to get herd immunity even if it takes a year or so of quarantine. So like, does it really matter what this person says? I don't think so. Um, not because they're a bad person or they're transgender, but I think that eventually everybody's going to get COVID and people are going to get, you know, the antibodies and it's going to protect them and we're going to go back to business as usual. Um, but I think in the meantime, it seems like the Biden administration could potentially be choosing a what are they called a representative choosing a representative that is immune to criticism in order to um, recommend extremely strict uh, guidelines that people are required to follow for example i remember it said something in here her nomination what is it or is it like she did something in pennsylvania she like in enacted like really strict social distancing in pennsylvania or something like that um, what did it say here? Uh, yeah, what? I, I can't, I don't, wait, I don't remember exactly what it said, something like that. Pencil, yeah. In a statement released Tuesday afternoon, she said, Levine said she was proud of the work she has been able to accomplish at the Pennsylvania Department of Health. She highlighted her efforts to address the opioid epidemic by developing innovative models to get people into treatment and into recovery and the work her team has done blah 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 where, where did it say that that i remember oh here we go as pennsylvania secretary of health levine has risen to national prominence for leading the state's public health response to the coronavirus pandemic despite repeated and ugly attacks on her gender well that wasn't it i read something in here that said that she like had like crazy hardcore social distancing stuff. So yeah. Oh, here we go. But after Levine received a promotion to become Pennsylvania's health secretary, the coronavirus pandemic raised her profile across the state and the country as she sought to contain the virus with aggressive social distancing rules. It also made her the target of more frequent abuse. Um, so like how much of this is accurate in terms of, you know, like what, how do they define aggressive social distancing rules, you know? Because the Washington Post is a perfect organization and has never reported anything inaccurate at all, ever. Um, but, you know, maybe they might have embellished from time to time. Maybe they might have been a tiny little bit biased towards, you know, one 
political affiliation or another. It's it's possible. I mean, I'm not saying that that's what happened or that that's the case in this case. But um, anyway, the point is that, uh, yeah, how how much like how how strict were these aggressive social distancing rules? Because this is kind of this could imply that, you know, they're like, oh, wow, this person did a really good job in Pennsylvania making everybody like not allowed to leave their house let's put her in charge at a federal level so she can do the same thing and if anybody says anything bad about these rules we'll just say that she's that they're transphobic which will like you know um invalidate their argument i guess uh that that could be you know could could be argued that that is that that's the move here um now in my opinion I think um, I don't think that that's the case. I think that uh, the Biden administration wants to record a win over the coronavirus epidemic or pandemic or whatever they're calling it. And I think that um, in order to do that, they're because let's think of it like this, right? Politicians know everybody in America knows that the, that the strength of the United States is not their massive corporations, is the um, massive amount of small businesses that are created on a regular basis in the United States and the favorable rules and laws that are that the United States has towards people who start a small business. And I would be very surprised if um, the current trend of like mandating that small businesses close and allowing corporations to continue to do business continues. Um, because that will, in my opinion, lead to the eventual decline of the United States. And then what have you really done? Like you haven't really recorded a win. You've just kind of bankrupted the country and um, everyone's going to be mad at you, basically. Right. Like Biden administration, everybody's going to be mad at them if they don't fix the coronavirus pandemic. Right. You can only blame Trump for so long when you get in power. And then it's like, okay, well, you know, you've had time to fix it. So, you know, put the plastic dividers up and like get some better masks. Like we've got the vaccine, you know, what, what are we going to do now? Anyway, the, the only reason I'm making this video is because it seems strange to me that um, somebody who is clearly, you know, clinically obese would be a health minister um, and would be a health minister at a state and now federal level, um, one of the highest political offices that can be um, attained. So anyway, just thought I would make this video. thought it was interesting. What do you guys think about it? If you have an opinion and you can be civil, uh, I encourage you to leave a comment because any and all comments help the algorithm. And of course, I know none of my viewers are transphobic. Uh, yeah, but anyway, um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Peace. Oh shit, didn't want to do that.